Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here for another video about the TP-Link TLR47T T Plus Load Balance Broadband Router. Really, really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, so what I'm using this for and what I want to show in today's video is how to change from those default um, online detection setups. Now I'm using this load balancer for the sole purpose of failover. So what I'm doing is putting in two WANs into it. It's got my ISP connection and it's got my cellular connection. And the only thing I want this load balancer to do, I'm not even using load balancing. All I want it to do is to handle failover as quickly and well as possible. And um, I, I like the fact it has multiple WANs because uh, if I really wanted to go all out and have like two internet connections, let's say I wanted to have two ISP lines or what I'm doing now is cellular plus ISP or satellite, etc., etc. You can do everything. Um, the only caveat being that this is this old piece of hardware, um, TLR470T. The ports are 10100. So what I'm going to do is as soon as I can get carbon carbon fiber uh, fiber optic in my area, I'm going to upgrade to a better load balancer uh, that will be able to support those speeds. But for the moment, with my humble DSL connectivity, this does the job just fine. Now, what I'm what you want to look at here is you've got your link backup settings. Worth just mentioning those while we're taking a look through the features here. And uh, the mode I actually have is backup when all primary ones fail. Now, I don't think there's really any difference. If you've only got one primary and one backup, then you can see there's two options here. Well, actually three, but if we take exclude timing, these look very similar, but they're, they are a little bit different. Failover is the first option here is enable backup link when any primary one fails. So think about that. If you had two ISPs running into uh, this load balancer and you had a cellular router or a satellite router, whatever the case may be, if any of the WANs go, even if the other there's a viable WAN intact that's labeled primary, well, we're going to go to backup. The second one says, um, wait for all the primaries to fail and only then go to backup. So there is actually a difference there. But if you've only got one primary, unless I'm really missing something, there is going to be no difference. So that's what that is. And I've just set up that backup rule and it's enabled and all is looking good. Now in online detection, this is, if you click into the operation mode, you can see I've swipped, swapped over to manual mode here and it was by default in automatic mode and i've manually configured a, a server that's google dns server there 8.8.8.8 and for dns lookup 8.8.4.4.4 you could use you know um one one a different uh completely different uh dns servers or different infrastructures i just kept it simple and I did test a failover on this and it worked just fine. Um, I'm going to do a uh, test comparison between the automatic mode and this mode. Now you can actually go for always online, which as the name suggests, will tell your, uh, the software here, well, that's always up. Um, this connection is always good. You don't need to ping at all. Just assume it's always in place um, or auto. And I'll just bring up the user documentation in a second. So that's what I've done here. And I've also done here. You can use different ones for each one or the same ones. Lots and lots of options. Um, now here is what TP link have to say about this. Always keep a copy of the user manual saved somewhere on your computer or in the cloud, because you never know when these things vanish and who needs paper when you have digital PDFs or that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on the topic. So, um, here you can see it's got a guide and it gives you a bit of info about what the different modes do. It says in auto mode, the DNS server, the one port will be selected as the destination for DNS lookup. So what that is saying is that it's going to inherit, inherit the, uh, the DNS there from the one itself. And that's going to be how it's testing itself. Now in manual mode, you can configure the destination IP for ping and DNS lookup to manually detect whether it's online and always online. The status of the port will always be considered to be online. And it just gives you info here for ping with manual mode selected, specify the destination IP for ping. The corresponding port will ping the IP address to detect whether the one port's online. 0.0.0.0 .0 means ping detection is disabled. So you can, you can also pass that in there just as a workaround. Um, I don't see if you've got two different 
servers to ping, why not use two? Uh, you've at least got, you've given yourself a tiny bit of redundancy by doing that. And DNS logup with manual mode selected, specify the IP of the DNS server, the corresponding port will perform the DNS lookup using default DNS domain name to detect whether one port's online. And you can do the same trick here with your 4.0. So hope that video was useful. That is how you can uh, manually change for the link online detection there over from the automatic, uh, automatic DNS uh, servers to ones of your choosing. Um, you can choose to keep one online or all the time, or you can disable one of these options as well and just be pinging away at one server or you can ping away at two servers and each one can ping something different. Very exciting. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more bit more videos from me on tech, Linux, backup, all these uh, all these topics, feel free to subscribe to the channel.